harder. Talk a little bit about so this past week for you. Well, this past week's been a really pretty productive week. We went one and one. We only had two matches. Uh, one last week, uh, last Wednesday night, and we had one this evening. Last Wednesday night, we traveled to uh, Enid to play Northern of uh, Northern College of Enid, uh, which is a Division One opponent, and uh, we got our first road win, which was nice. Uh, went up there and beat them in three. Played really crisp. Played really clean. That was a good feeling. And then we traveled to Coffeeville last night. A, uh, a really tough opponent. Coffeeville has a very, very good group. Uh, a lot of real strong attackers. And played them real well. Lost in four, uh, won game two. Was in command a little bit of game three. Was in control of game three. And then uh, we just got, we, we made too many mental, mental mistakes last night and uh, really unforced errors cost us last night. Um, last night's game was with Coffeeville. Coffeeville. And uh, that's the second loss to Coffeeville? Second loss to Coffeeville. Second time we've played them. That's kind of odd to play somebody that many times early in the season. Uh, but at the same time, it's a good measure just to see where we went from uh, day one till three weeks later. And we made tremendous progress. Uh, I know that. We did make tremendous progress. Uh, Coffeeville take nothing away from them. They're a very good club. They beat us last night. But we felt like we, we left a lot, of, a lot of points out there. We left a lot of uh, things on the floor as far as just cleanliness in the game, as far as getting into making some net mistakes, uh, some service errors and crucial situations, just little bitty things we know we can clean up that hasn't been our identity of any issues we've had early in the season. So we felt like we felt pretty good leaving last night, actually, even though it was a loss. Your team's healthy? We're healthy right now. Thank uh, knock on some wood. Uh, everybody stayed healthy. It looks like we're getting physically better as far as uh, strength and conditioning. And uh, felt like that we're, we're able to sustain effort through a match a little bit better than we did earlier. And uh, this uh, week ahead, looking ahead, where do you think you Week ahead, uh, pretty simple. This is the week that we kind of block away, play, try to play an early match, and we did that last night at Coffeeville, and then get ready for the pre-regional tournament that we host this weekend. Uh, we played two matches on Saturday, one against uh, Florence Valley of uh, St. Louis, and one against East Central College out of the uh, Union, Missouri, which is in the St. Louis area as well. And they, those two schools make up the uh, Eastern Division of our, uh, what's initially our region. And so this is a seeding tournament. We play those two, and these are two big matches that go towards the playoffs. I mean, where you stand in the playoffs as far as seed, uh, this has a major impact. So we're lucky enough to get to host it this year, and uh, we'll play uh, 10 o'clock against uh, Flow Valley. And then the uh, last match of the day, we'll play uh, East Central at 2.30. Have you scouted Flow Valley? How do they uh, stack up? We have not seen Flow Valley. We've played them enough times in the past to know that uh, we, we think they're going to be about what they've been as far as how they uh, are going to try to attack you and how they're going to defend you. Uh, it's, it's almost impossible for us to get up there this early and, and go, uh, go watch them play a match. And there's not a lot of film of them out there right now. Uh, so we, we're, we're comfortable that we'll get to figure Flow Valley out through the course of the match. And it really doesn't matter what Flow Valley does. It really counts. You know, we've got to play to our identity, do what we do worry about us first and then you know get to the flow of the match. East Central on the other hand we're going to get to watch play a couple times uh, prior to playing them. Uh, we know they're going to run a really big fast offense. Uh, but they have uh, some really nice size to net and they like to run an exceptionally fast offense. So it's something that our kids get to watch a couple times before we have to adjust to the game. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.